this is the Ashton Studio. The coach is Leanne Benjamin. Bob. She's done the role many a time. It's incredibly important to have a coach. It's another set of eyes, but also the experience that they give. Push him away, and then, then. We have an awful habit, principal dancers, of looking at ourselves while we're in the process of the choreography. We're done. So the coach is there to help them forget about the mirror, and you get into the role. Good. Good, Sarah. It doesn't matter how experienced you are, you will need that help. Good. Yes, much better. Okay. <laughs> Kenneth might have liked that. Stephen and Sarah know each other very well, and they come into a role like this, and you're trying to pull out of them things that they don't get comfortable with. Well, this is the thing with Kenneth's ballets, is that the pas de deux are so difficult, you have to rehearse them and rehearse them and rehearse them, but at the same time, if the positions are looking too comfortable, it's not correct either. Good. So it's keeping the integrity of the choreography and making it your own and making it look exciting. Sarah, are you sure you can't tuck your legs up a little bit higher? No, no, I... I Getting you I up? Yeah. I'm sorry, Steve, if I'm saying to change something, but it's fine. it looks too easy. The one thing I keep stressing is that every time they do a movement, he shouldn't know what she's going to do and she shouldn't know what he's going to do. You should pull her back to you, not you go to her. And that's the key, again, of that balance of rehearsing and not being predictable. Yeah. And that's why I say, please come in every day and try something different. Mm -hmm. And it, that's quite difficult for dancers that are controlling. Yeah, well, I mean, that's yeah. the whole confidence. Yeah. You come on that stage yeah. to feel in control yeah. of it. I want Sarah and Stephen to, to be more unpredictable because they're so incredibly technical. And they're so skilled. And they're so used to being together. And I love rehearsing with them. I absolutely love rehearsing with them because they'll do what I ask. And I actually quite like it when they bristle against me. I understand what you're saying about making more. Mm. I prefer more. <clears throat> Let it go some days. Let it rip, fall over. You know, be on an angle and don't try and be in control all the time because Kenneth wouldn't really want that, would he? That's right. Well, he'd get bored. He'd get so bored. And he knew the public would get bored, so that's that trying to create those roles within the actual movement. Good. Come to the centre, Steve, in that. And he could read everything that you were thinking. So if you have the same thought every day, that's boring. So he wanted to see you expand yourself, extend yourself, not just in the physicality, but in your thoughts and, what, and, and where you were going to take the role. And that's what I loved about Kenneth. <laughs> mm. Boring. <laughs>